everybody, welcome back to Whistle Thicket. If you hear a weird noise in the background, that's our pet mini pig. He's roaming around around my legs here. I am going to talk about bee syrup and what I think is the easiest bee syrup one to one ratio recipe that I found. And it's simple, it's quick, it's easy, it's not messy. I'm not trying to convince you to feed your bees. Some people say, yes, you need to feed your bees. Some say, never feed your bees. Um, but if you're watching this video, you probably have made the decision to feed your bees. Now, I am a new beekeeper. Um, my bees are, are very young. Um, my nuke is still drawing comb. So that's the main reason why I am still feeding at least one of my hives is that they are still making comb in their hive body that takes a lot of energy a lot of work now the second year they're not going to have to draw that comb even if <clears throat> that um the bee colony collapses i already have that drawn comb that the new bees can use so i may not feed as much next year or next spring but i'm still feeding right now so this is the recipe I came up with. So first of all, do this outside. The first time I made bee syrup was a complete mess. The kitchen was a disaster. Sugar is not easy to clean up. I'll tell you that on a kitchen counter, not fun to do. So the ratio is one to one and there's always arguments. Should you do by weight? Should you do by volume? Really, it doesn't matter. It's the same thing, one to one ratio. But the important thing is, how are you going to do it? How are you going to transport to your bees? There's lots of recipes out there for five gallons. That's a lot of bee syrup. If you have tons and tons of bees, yes. But just imagine if you have to lift up a five gallon bucket to pour that into your bee feeders. That wasn't for me. I found the easiest way is using an empty gallon jug, a milk jug, or a jug of water, and using that to mix your bee syrup. So this is the recipe, it's really simple. It's based off of a single bag of sugar. Um, this is four pounds of sugar. I think that's a pretty standard size of sugar. So my recipe is based off of the sugar in the bag. So four pounds of sugar, has 454 teaspoons. Now there's three teaspoons to one tablespoon. So that means that there are 151 tablespoons in this bag. Now there are 16 tablespoons to one cup. So if I do 151 and I divide that by 16 I get 9.45 so basically this is nine and a half cups of sugar I don't need to measure it I already know that this is what I did with my milk jug I filled it up to 10 cups so it's a little more than one to one but that but I'm fine with that it doesn't have to be exactly perfect right so I filled it up to 10 cups and a gallon is 16 cups so this is, this is accurate. Um, you have to keep in mind that the gallon kind of loses some of its, air, um, its volume. So this tape line, you only have to do this once. You figure out where your 10 cup mark is, tape it off. I've tried to use markers, they kind of rub off. That's why I am using tape instead. And then from there, it's really simple. You fill this up with warm water. Some people boil. Um, but I've heard lots of people say that is not good. You can start to ferment the sugar. Bees don't want hot bee syrup anyway, so you gotta let it cool. But I do have warm water in here, and that's going to help the sugar dissolve better and quicker. And then I'm going to let it cool a little bit, and I will feed this to my bees tomorrow. I'll put this in the fridge, and then I'll feed them tomorrow. So this is really easy, no mess. It's outside, so if I do make a mess, um, it's easier to clean up. I can just use my garden hose as opposed to cleaning my kitchen counter. So this is a little tip that I came up with, um, is using a funnel, except most kitchen funnels, um, 
the neck of it is very narrow so i have an oil funnel for a car um i bought this years ago a set of three this was probably only a few dollars and then i shortened it so that the opening fits perfectly in my milk jug so now when i pour in my sugar it's not going to get clogged up i was using a baking funnel and it has a very narrow neck and it was getting clogged up all the time this makes it way easier i'm just going to slice a corner here put it over the funnel and that's really it um, and then i'm going to shake it up well so that it's thoroughly mixed and then i have my one-to-one -one b syrup ratio and it's perfect for a feeder and it will last you several days. So let's go ahead and make our one-to-one -one bee syrup. And making one-to-one -one sugar syrup is that easy, no mess. I may have spilled just a little bit of sugar, but since I'm outside, it doesn't matter. And now the level of the mixture is up to here, which is a gallon of syrup. So basically you have a gallon of syrup for a gallon feeder, super, super easy. I actually did not use my knife. This is my first time with this funnel and it's a lot easier to just open the bag and pour it in through the funnel as opposed to the older funnel I had that was a lot smaller and it was just harder to pour. So I have one gallon of bee syrup. This cost me a dollar and 33 cents. Now, if you wanted to get more sugar, of course you can get it for even cheaper with those giant 25 pound bags. But my bees are gonna need this to draw out their comb because in a few weeks, I'm gonna have a nectar flow and I want my bees to be ready. So if this was a helpful video, let me know, comment, give us a thumbs up and keep on beekeeping. It's been a uh, awesome adventure so far and we'll see you in the next video.